They told me for years there was no money in podcasting. Well, they were all wrong. Okay, next question. Next question. Let's see what we let's see what we got here. Who is the greatest comedian of all time? I have an opinion on this. I'm I'm dying to hear yours. Oh God. Okay. Why did I did I put this on here? Yes. Yeah, I did yes. put this on here. Why did I put this on here? The greatest comedian of all time. Oh, that's tough. My favorite comedian has to be George Carlin for multiple reasons. But if I'm going to say the greatest comedian of all time, I'm going to go with Lenny Bruce. Okay. Now, Lenny Bruce's, Lenny Bruce's uh, material is definitely out there. It's a little comedy. It doesn't usually age well, not because it's just like inappropriate, because it's usually it's just... Lenny Bruce. Never never heard of this guy, so I'm... uh. Yeah, look, look him let's, up. Let's pull him up. You know, yeah, yeah, look, pull him up. So Lenny Bruce is famous for going to jail for his comedy. <laughs> so so yeah. we got Lenny Bruce up right here. There he is, Lenny Bruce. Look at him. Look at this. Look at this bastard. Uh, this guy was absolutely crazy. Um, so you're telling me if I could look up a mugshot right now? Try it, Lenny Bruce mugshot, because he would say the most ridiculous shit on. Oh, stage there he is. In like the '50s <laughs> or the '60s or like. The earliest days of comedy, and he went to jail for speaking live on stage. Like, Will Smith didn't even go to jail for smacking a comedian, all right? This is like Will Smith smacking Chris Rock and Chris Rock going to jail for the joke, right? So right. Lenny Bruce took the bullet for all comedians we see today. Like, Lenny Bruce went to jail so Chris Rock could get smacked in the face. Yeah, I think a guy that's com comparable to him would probably... Be Richard Pryor. Yeah, my number two is Richard Pryor. Um, similar reason, you know, he he was just so funny. His stuff still stands up. And if you ask any comedian who their favorite comedian is, it's probably Richard Pryor. Right. But Carlin, Carlin was weird. So what Carlin did, um, he was clean cut comedy. Like he did the colleges in a suit. He's like, hey, so uh, airline food. What did the waitress say to the bartender? When did you shift up? Right? You know, that's not even funny. But like he would do like that that stupid comedy like that just because it was appropriate. And then he just went a complete 180. And then his most famous skit was the seven words you can't say on television. Um, and he just went completely dirty. And he pretty much died on stage. So the FCC was going after this guy. The FCC was going after Lenny Bruce. 100%. Mm -hmm. So he took the bullet so all of us of comedy could stand up. Um. So thank you, Lenny Bruce. I am no comedian by any stretch, but I actually did. I actually did stand up comedy in college. Um, my sophomore year, I was looking for um, things to do on campus. I was looking for a new friend group and just for things to, you know, broaden my horizons, if you will. And I joined Ha Ha Hofstra. Um, I remember the first time I went up there, killed it. I was just like, oh, this comedy thing is easy. Like I went up there, my bit was amazing, it was hilarious. Everyone was dying laughing. I left that room going. I am the coolest guy at Hofstra. Went there the next time, did a, did a bit, ate a giant bowl of shit. <laughs> Awful. And I was like, wow. Booed? This is comedy. Bo what is booed? Did you get booed? I, no, I didn't get booed. I didn't get booed. But so part of, part of um, the, the, the club was, you know, you do your skit, for, you, do your, you do your bit for like three, five minutes, and then they give you three critiques. One of the critiques was, um... Don't say bitch. And I was just like, you motherfucker. I have three critiques and that's what you give me? Don't say bitch? You gotta listen to George Carlin, you bitch. See, I <laughs> I, I had the reverse situation, so... All right, what you got? Uh, me, artist, artist background, rapper, singer, producer. Uh, but at this point, I was really just trying to go all, go the distance with, 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 with rap. And there was a, uh, a rap competition. Where everybody would do their thing, and there was, I, I would go to a Catholic Vincentian University, St. John's University. Um, not allowed to curse, so I didn't curse. I was following the rules. People that come on me, come on, come on after me, no regard. And obviously, they had more impact with the crowd because we're talking a whole, about a whole bunch of you know young adults, teenagers, and f this, f that, b mm -hmm. words, and mm -hmm. all this stuff. F, F bombs and the people are like, you know, the hosts are looking at them like, what are you doing? But the crowd is going nuts. So I'm like, damn, that's, the, you know, that might be the last time that I, you know, I learned my lesson that one. I followed the rules, but that's not what, uh, what, 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 what took the cake. 
But that's the thing about comedy. Like, comedy, you're supposed to push the boundaries. You're supposed to do things you're not supposed to do. You're supposed to say things you're not supposed to say. Like, why is inappropriate comedy funny? Because it's you're not supposed to say it. And there's a hint of truth in it. Like, comedy is supposed to be offensive. That's almost what makes it funny. And that's that's why I love, I love, love, love Dave Chappelle. Yeah, Chappelle is... And Ch- he, 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 he literally cannot be canceled. No, it's impossible. This whole cancel culture, he can't be canceled. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Chappelle is the best living, breathing comedian today. Um, if you asked me like six, seven years ago, I would have said Louis C.K., and that's only because Dave Chappelle wasn't doing comedy. Right. <laughs> and and Louis, he definitely pushed the envelope. Oh, he pushed a few envelopes. Yeah, he definitely, he definitely did. But remember, he asked permission first. He asked for permission. <laughs> If you get that joke, if you get that joke, he asked permission first. Uh, but yeah, he, Louis, I still like Louis. Um, I would still see go see Louis live. You know, obviously what he did is disgusting, uh, but he asked permission. So I'll, I'll, <laughs> give, I'll give him that. Louis is, Louis is just a gross man who likes to touch himself. <laughs> what I love is the, the, the comedians that uh, they, they find humor in it. You know, they do bits about Louis C.K. Yeah. And, and what went down. 